pipes. <laughs> I'm in a lay-by and uh, it's absolutely chucking it down with rain. I'm on my lunch break so I thought I'd uh, stick the camera on. And I want to think that I could start a series up called Here I Am in the Van. Uh, but it'd probably be very boring so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I normally sit here and talk to the camera in the van if I'm sort of uh, talking about subscribers, you know. Uh, I suppose I could celebrate I'm now over 550 subscribers, but that's not why I'm here. The reason I'm here talking to you is because I haven't been doing anything. <laughs> Well, I have, but nothing worth filming. You know, I did a couple of videos previously about my garage and the driveway and things like that. But there's only so much of that I can do. I mean, what have I been doing? Putting up curtains, hoovering. You know, it's it's not things you want to watch, is it? <laughs> I'm still getting over my cold. It's on my chest now, so I've got a bit of like a, a bit of a chest infection, I think. So I'm gonna have to see the doctors and get some antibiotics, unfortunately. I mean, I, I'm nearly over it, but it's just not quite going. So I think I need some antibiotics to get rid of it completely. Uh, but I'm full of energy. I'm awake. I'm ready to roll. I just, unfortunately, I'm stuck at work at the moment doing sort of nearly 12-hour shifts. So there's no time to do anything. And as usual, I'd like to get a video out midweek. So I've had a look through my old footage. And I've got a bit more footage of me messing about with my red seat, which must be getting pretty boring now. And uh, I've got some footage of me messing about with my back lights on the P4. I was looking at the footage and there's not a lot of good content there, I must say. <laughs> it looked bloody boring to me. So I thought I'd sit here and chat about how boring it is and then cobble together the clips I've got and make an even more boring video. Um, but at least it's something to keep you entertained and then hopefully, I think it's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I've got four days off in a row. So I will get out, well I'm hoping to go and pick up some red door cards. So there'll be some footage there. Maybe I'll do some filming of me going to get door cards because it's a little drive out to Malvern. I don't know what car I'll take. Uh, and then I'll, I'll do some filming of me sort of try, trying to restore the door cards, I think. So that's something to look forward to, isn't it? Anyway, I'll shut up now and we'll get on to the clip. Right. Let's see what horrors lurk beneath these lenses. I've never taken these off since I've had her. So I'm interested to see what's behind Oh, I don't look bad. There's a good rubber seal here as well. Hopefully I can save that. So I didn't get any new seals. There's the crow. I mean, my back lights aren't bad, but... I picked these new old stock lights out. Yes, these rubber gaskets are good. Well, this one is, thankfully. I can reuse that. Happy days. Give the bulbs a clean up, I think.
Let's have a look. Oh, it all looks very clean and tidy in here. I'm very happy. in my new light lens where I've had it laying around all sort of dust and dirt has got inside here on the reflector in that so I've got this massive electric toothbrush to get in there and uh, dust it all out I also noticed that my new lens didn't come with this separator plate to separate the indicator bulb from the brake light and that. So I've taken this off the old lens. I'll give it a little clean up and then this just slides on top here just to separate the lenses. So I've now put the new chrome over the rubber. It's all cleaned up. I've greased the thread on the screw. And on it goes. I don't want to do them up too tight because I've seen a few of them that have split where they've been done up too tight. So there's the new chrome on and then this is the old chrome. You can see it's all pitted. Yes, looks a lot nicer. There you are, I've just run some wax over that. So it's lovely and shiny. Seems a bit daft really when the chassis isn't really a show car or anything, but oh it just looks so much nicer, doesn't it? Let me get the old one. I don't know. Oh, 
The lens itself isn't that bad. And this one, a few scratches. And the important thing is, to me is the chrome, really. <laughs> right, another one to go. I should probably test it works as well. Ta-da! Anyway, I can't test the brake light because I'm on my own. Lyndon's gone out. I changed my mind. And I think these really should be reflective and they're not. So I'm going to put tin foil on. It's a bit windy, so this should be fun. the other one now. Lots of faffing later I took that one off again because I put the um, the tin foil on the divider to give it more reflection um, and also the chrome bezel I've smeared clear grease on the inside just to stop corrosion and I'm going to do that with the other side now. But yeah, it looks lovely. And again, I'm very happy with this side. No corrosion in there. Fantastic. There you are. Here's a joke for you. Headlamp bezels. See this bezel on here? That came on Chessie when I bought her. And I thought, no, oh, it's a bit tarnished. I'll get some new ones. There's some on eBay. It says they're triple plated chrome. Wow, better than anything on the market. This is what they look like after less than a year out in the weather. And she's not sat out in the rain. She's used daily and that has been polished and waxed and it's gone like that. So don't believe what you hear on the internet. Stick with original or find a decent platers because whoever this guy used is rubbish. Less than a year and they've gone like that. There's not one bit of rust on these original bezels. It's only tarnish. They're not rusty. Joke. Absolute joke. Might as well throw them in the bin. <laughs> Did you enjoy that? Did you? Don't lie to me. I bet you skipped through some of it. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.